Hello, my name is Requiem and welcome to another Beyond All Reason video. In today's video we're going to be discussing the launcher and the lobby and all the options in between. Just a reminder that the footage you see here is taken from my live stream. If you want to join me, I stream every Friday on Twitch. With that out of the way, let's get started. First things first, the launcher. On here, there are only two things you need to notice. First thing is this bit here, and you have to choose between Alpha, Alpha Plus, Map Pack. Now, they're both the same, other than the Map Pack one obviously contains Map Packs. You can download this if you've got some time at the beginning to speed up the process of playing with your friends. However, if they're waiting for you, you can download maps whilst you're in the lobby. Secondly, the check for updates tip box. This will be ticked automatically in the launcher system. It will make sure that every time you open the game, it will ask you to update it. Now, there is reasons why you would not want this to happen, and we'll go through that a bit later on. To join a multiplayer game, select multiplayer and then battle list. Here you will see a bunch of lobbies that have different colors. Red means that the lobby is locked, yellow means that a game is in progress, blue means the lobby is empty, and green means the lobby has players in it but it's not yet started. Next to the picture of the map you will see which version the game is running and the map's name. If they both have green ticks it means you have the map downloaded and the correct version of the game. If one of them has a red, if you connect to that lobby it will download whatever is missing for you. Sometimes you will see a lobby out of date with your current version. That is because the lobbies don't actually update themselves until all users have left. This is a situation where you may need to relaunch the game and not auto update if you have crashed out of a game that is currently running. Once all this is fine, choose an empty lobby like this one. Now, when you're in the lobby, you may ask yourself, who is this cluster person just sat in spectator? That's the server host and you don't need to worry about it. There'll be one in each one and the prefix before will change depending on what region you've got selected. Just ignore it, it's not there. Now onto commands. To make any changes to the lobby without having to vote on everything, you're gonna need the boss command. To do this, type exclamation mark boss followed by your username as seen here. This has worked correctly, you'll get a feedback message saying that you are now the boss. This will mean that you no longer have to vote, but if there are more than one bosses, you will need to still vote between the bosses. The next thing you'll want to do is lock the room. This can be done by typing exclamation mark lock into the text chat. There is no feedback message, so you'll have to just trust that this has happened. When you're ready for your friend to join, type exclamation mark unlock to allow your friend to join. Note that this can be done in game as well, so if someone wants to join partway through the game, you can just type the same command. To choose map, click the choose map button. Here you'll see a load of lists of different maps and all their settings. You can use the tabs at the top to sort your search to help you find the map a bit easier. These boxes you can see here on the map are the spawn boxes. There is one for each team. If you want to move these, just click and drag. If you want to change the size of them, there is some lines in the bottom right hand corner and you can click and drag on this to adjust the size. There is also these buttons seen here. You can use these to choose a preset and you can add and remove boxes manually via this option as well. So there are a few different AIs to choose from, so let's go through them. The simple AI has quite a few variations uh, from different tactics. With this becomes varied difficulties so if you're new to bar, the first thing to do is to start here and work your way through them. Once you're done with those, then you want to move on to the next AI, which is the Bar B Stable. This is short for Barbarian. This is their advanced AI, and this is where you should move on to next once you're happy with being the simple AI. Next is the Scavenger AI. This AI is specific for the scavenger game mode, and you will only need one of these per lobby as it scales per players on the opposing team. If you want to find out more information about scavengers, check my video on scavengers above. 
This is the chicken AI for the chicken game mode. Again, you will only need one of these per game and pick the appropriate difficulty that you can see here. If you want to find out more information about the chicken game mode, again, you can check this video for more information. Lastly, the null AI. This AI does nothing, it just sits there. It is there purely for testing, so you don't need to really worry about it. If you prefer to play solo, there are some single player scenarios that can be played from the single player section. These range in difficulty and can be a challenge for even the most experienced RTS players. Unfortunately, these currently cannot be played cooperatively. And that's it for this Beyond All Reason video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. If you've got any questions about the game, feel free to pop on over to my Twitch channel. I stream every Friday. Lastly, don't forget that Beyond All Reason is free. So if you'd like to give it a shot, head on over to their website. I'll have a link in the description below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.